This is one of the last lowland coastal rainforest in Southeast Asia. And this forest is getting badly degraded and overdeveloped um, in an area which is one of the last habitats for the green racket tail parrot, a highly endangered species. This area is pretty much the last stronghold. No one is sure how many of these birds are left. They're very close to extinction. Uh, some estimates are from 1,000 to 2,000, but I don't think anybody really knows, but the number is really low. So this particular spot where I'm at right now was a zip line ride before, and um, I, it's not operational right now. I think that there was a lot of damage to some of the uh, trees here. Some of the trees died. I'm not sure why they closed, but now they're going to, they say they're going to erect towers and do the zip line from, from metal towers. It's going to be very harmful to uh, this green racket tail parrot, which utilizes this area. It's going to be very disruptive. As I already said, this forest as a whole is being very degraded. And this particular area is one of the last areas where you can see these birds. It's hard to see them. It's rare, but they're here. And I've seen them and, uh, in this area. And like I said, they're near extinction. So I don't want to see them go extinct. So the argument for the, um, the zip line rides is that it's ecotourism. And, and I think that there's a real misconception about what ecotourism means. Ecotourism doesn't mean degrading and harming the habitat, the flora and fauna. It does not mean harming trees, uh, driving away wildlife, especially a highly endangered species. So they had these structures up here before and uh, they're going to put metal towers, which is not going to be good for this environment. And um, going to walk along here and got some very old trees, very tall trees. As I said already, the green racket tail, also the blue nate parrot, another highly endangered parrot, is seen, can be seen in this area, utilizes this area. So ecotourism is being used as an excuse far too often to um, exploit the forest uh, for commercial reasons with the illusion that it's bringing people closer to nature, nature in this case because there's zip line rides so people get to experience nature. That's the excuse that's being used to uh, develop this area and um, even though it's going to cause great harm. So here's one of the towers erected and they want to put more of these and once it's fully operational it's going to be a lot of people here, a lot of activity, a lot of traffic and all that's going to happen is that these green racket tail parrots will be driven that much closer to extinction. Ecotourism is being used far too often as the excuse to degrade and develop um, you know, pristine areas, nature areas, uh, and harm wildlife, uh, harm endangered species. And it's really in the interest of money, but it's given the excuse, well, we're, we're, we are um, providing jobs and we're bringing people closer to nature. And it's like the value is lost as, as far as the importance of keeping nature in a healthy condition without degrading it. No one seems to see, or too few, see the long-term value in that. Healthy forest, clean air, clean water, biodiversity. God, it's a really frustrating battle. And unfortunately, the interests for commerce and development and for money are far stronger than the interests for conservation. And a lot of these conservation organizations have tons of money. They're incredibly well-funded. And I don't know where they are. It's like... The commercial interests seem to prevail and then the conservation groups, other than many of them stockpiling their money and asking for more contributions, they're amazingly absent, disgustingly, disgustingly, not amazingly, disgustingly absent from these struggles because they should be fighting for these endangered species and these rare habitats and these battles that need to be fought to not develop everything, not to have everything destroyed in the name of ecotourism. So, as I mentioned already, uh, you've got 
two species of highly endangered parrot, the green racket tail in particular, but you also have the blue nape parrot that utilize this area. And once this project gets off ground and this, this uh, zip line, which to me is nothing but a carnival ride, and you know, it doesn't belong in a rainforest, especially one that's home to highly endangered species. But this uh, zip line ride, once it goes into development and they start erecting more towers, it's going to really harm these endangered species. Here's an example of some dead tree. I know that the overutilization, the way that the zip line rides utilize these trees, killed some of these very old trees and did a lot of harm to flora and fauna. Ecotourism is not necessarily conservation. It's got to stop being used as the excuse for conservation. Some people point out successful areas where there's ecotourism. They use the example, for example, of a... Oh God, I'm out of breath from going up hill. A uh, species, the tarsiers, that uh, bring in a lot of tourist money, but they were relocated from the area where they originally belonged because they were being destroyed over there. Uh, it's really like a glorified zoo where they're at. And they say that's ecotourism because the community makes a lot of money, but tarsiers, which by, by the way are very stressed oftentimes by the presence of people and have been known to commit suicide. Tarsiers, polar bears, Certain species that are the, considered the glamorous glory species that people will go out of their way to see, that's not the overwhelming majority of what the endangered species are. If you want to have every cute, cuddly species and the things that appeal to people be the, the reason something's saved or whatever, we're never going to succeed. Green racket tail parrots, other parrot species, all kinds of species that are near extinction may not have the glamour and the draw and, the, and the, the ability to bring in business like some of the glamour species, but that doesn't mean they're any less important or should not be saved. Anyway, you can see trees in pretty bad shape over here. So, in short, ecotourism does not necessarily translate into conservation. Ecotourism is oftentimes used as the excuse to degrade and develop and to harm a forest and the wildlife. And, uh, in the interest of commerce, and they'll use the argument, well, it brings jobs and so forth. But when you lose the forest, you lose so much more. You have uh, de uh, degraded, aired, polluted waters. So there's a big payoff that you, you get. You get either short-term profit for a few, or you get the long-term benefits of a healthy forest. And biodiversity and the importance of keeping species it's, it's irreplaceable. Once the racket tail parrot is gone, which is very, very well may happen within a decade or two, it's gone forever. Is it worth it just to have zip line rides or some kind of commercial activity? So once again, where are all these animal groups, these bird organizations, these conservation organizations, all these people professing to care about wildlife and animals, they always seem to be absent. It's just, Big business for them too. Big business for these people that uh, exploit the forest and big business for these, many of these organizations that um, do the same thing basically. Exploit and basically do nothing. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I hope that uh, somebody listens to this and fights for these green racket tail parrots and blue nape parrots and the other animals that are over here and says no to this nonsense, no to zip line rides over here. Do that carnival ride, put it in a city, put it in some degraded area, don't put it in a rainforest that's already being destroyed and overdeveloped.